the far left, which has, has infected the left and has, has almost just become the left today, um, is at an Orwellian level of doublethink. Almost every hysteria on the left is either greatly exaggerated or just made up. And almost all the expressions coming from the left uh, mean the opposite of what they say they mean. Here are some examples. The left talks about inclusion. What's inclusion? That sounds good. It's excluding white men. Hmm, that's kind of the opposite of inclusion. Yeah. Diversity, what's diversity? It's uniformity of thought. Hmm. That's not really diversity at all then, is it? Uh, what is fairness? Uh, it's unfairness. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the policies of Silicon Valley, which are, as extremist organizations, uh, most Silicon Valley companies, um, they're at the vanguard of this and they have huge power over people. Um, they, they are mostly evil. Um, Facebook, Google, very evil companies, very racist and sexist companies, as you can see from James Damore and leaked memos coming out of these companies. Um, thought is actually a crime on the far left. Do not think for yourself. You're not allowed to explore ideas. Uh, you're, they will tell you what to think, and you're supposed to think it. Um, it's, it's a religious cult. It's a dictatorship. It sounds like great fun. Anti-fascist. anti -fascist, anti well, how, how could you not be... An anti-fascist. Well, when anti-fascists are actually fascists, which is what they are, anti-fascists never want to uh, have a conversation. They don't want debate. They just want to use violence. Um, what the fuck is that? that? That's horrific. There's no place for that in a civilised society. No, the ends do not justify the means. And by the way, your ends are awful as well. It's some kind of communist anarcho shithole. Responsible innovation, this is a lovely term that the uh, far-left extremists at YouTube use. Res it's responsible innovation. It's actually very irresponsible innovation, what they're doing. They are stifling free speech. They are um, stopping anyone to the right of Karl Marx saying anything on their platform um, as if they're almost completely brand new, far-left ideas that were pulled out of various postmodern morons' asses a few years ago, as if they're somehow true. They're bullshit. YouTube should have a policy of free speech. It should have a policy of following the law in the countries it's in. That's it. It should not be getting involved in uh, enforcing its idiotic, far-left extremist views on the world. But that's what it's doing. This is why it should move to BitChute, a free speech platform. Trust and safety. This is another great one. Uh, this is another great Orwellian expression. What does trust and safety mean? It means it's, their platform is untrustworthy and unsafe for white men. Because as we know, in far-left ideology, white men are the untouchable Dalit class. Subhuman um, what would probably be too nice. We are as white men, vermin, to be replaced and exterminated by the self-loathing far leftists. So trust and safety, another bullshit term. Uh, and then these next three I'm going to list, they're not really terms as much as how they think. Free information for the far left is dangerous. It's strange, that, isn't it? Why would you not want a free exploration of ideas? I think part of this on the left is because they know their ideas are fucking stupid. And as soon, soon as they're questioned, they, they will just fall apart instantly. I mean, the, stopping free exploration and discussion of ideas, which is what should happen at universities, you stop that if your ideas are stupid. You stop that if you don't care about finding the truth, but instead care about pushing an ideology and taking power. People on the left just want power. They just want money. They don't care about the truth. If, once you've admitted you don't care about finding the truth, you're just a money-slash-power-grabbing dickhead. You're not a serious human being. You're not involved in the pursuit of knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge has got humans to where we are now. It's given these left leftist twats. It's given them 
uh, the unimaginably amazing life that all of these privileged idiots have. Um, slightly hypocritical there. Truth um, is equals patriarchy. They think the patriarchy is real. It's not. We actually live in a matriarchy. And we have done for many years now, um, as all of this proves. Um, they think a meritocracy is an oligarchy. It's not. Meritocracy is the only sane world we should be working towards. And we, we've gone, gone a long way down that road. Um, the way to get to as close as possible to perfect society is a meritocracy. The way not to do it is to persecute a group that you see as the oppressor. That just leads to hell. Um, so, yeah, this is the 1984 double think that is everywhere on the left now. It's just disgusting, but it's it's been embraced on so many venues on the left, from universities to business to government. All of this dog shit is everywhere, and it's extremely dangerous. If you follow this... Um, faulty thought process to its conclusion it leads to white genocide it leads to the dehumanization of white men and it leads to them just being killed or thrown in prison or, or, or becoming an untouchable class it seems crazy to say that now but look how quickly this has happened already if nothing is done to course correct and put the west back on a sensible path a path to meritocracy where martin luther king jr where his, you want people to be judged in the context of their character, not the colour of their skin, if we want that world, and that's undoubtedly the best world to get to. We need to reject these leftist ideas, we need to call them out, we need to win the argument, and we need to get back on the path to meritocracy.